Hello, and today I'm going to be talking about using Google Apps for your email. Now, we all know that Google has some great services, Google Calendar, Google Docs, um, Gmail, and even Google Sites. Um, today, I'm just going to show you how to set up Gmail with, for your own domain name using Google Apps. Now, why would you want to do this? You might not have a um any accounts for your hosting, which is just ridiculous, and you should change host. But you might just want the stability and ease of use of a Google service. So today we're going to show you how how to get Google services and tie it to your domain name. This is actually really easy. Um, all you do is go to google.com slash apps and I'm going to kind of walk through it with you for the first time of me doing it with um, one of my domain name seal C minus the run marks as well so I'm on the sign up page here and I've just so, uh, selected I own or con control this domain and all I'm going to do is enter the address of the domain and hit get started so now it's now going to ask me for a whole bunch of things including my um including my organization name which you don't actually have to fill out um, but I'm just going to fill out some information You have to enter a new phone number, but I assume that's just for I assume that's just for very verification. Um, I'm going to move this afterwards because I'm not an organisation. You could, um, it says you can use it for personal use, but before you use it for ju just yourself and not even a website or a blog, that then you, um, then you should. Reconsider and read the terms and conditions, but I'm just gonna show you how to do this today. And I'm not exactly sure they got the legalities because, like I've said, I'm not an organization. The, this is the personal version, and I've noticed you don't have to fill out the organization information, but you, um, it does put a heavy end for sit on organization so I'm just gonna stop the video while I enter in my phone number okay so I filled out that basic information and then it asked me to create an admin account and accept the terms and conditions so I've entered in all the information and I'm gonna click I accept continue with setup And if my internet decides to 
Stop being slow. There, there we go. It allows me to, to verify my domain. Uh, so, you don't want me to do it, but as you can see, I have one user. Which is me. And if I click this, it's going to look like I have a working email account. I could, um, and, uh, log into, um, g Gmail with that, but that's not going to work. So, I need to actually change thing in my hosting account, not my d domain, but in my hosting account. Um, which is an MX record, which says where to point all, all, all my information. So it may, because um, basically the the hosting account is going to get um, record of where things are, and then the um the uh website will say hang on that's an email request and do something else with it um i've got no idea where to find the MX records. Just hold on a minute, guys. Okay, hey guys, I found them, and this is just a table of what you need to put in where. So you need to go into your hosting account and go into your MX records and delete all current MX entries um, you then need to add those entries so the Priority one was this URL. So I'm going to copy that in and say pri the priority is one and ch change that. So that's the first one. Um, I'll just add the second one with you, and I'll zoom into those MX records so you can see what you need to put in without actually going to the website. So that one got that's and they have alternate servers you see 
that's what all this is. Um, so, that's that one. And its priority is five. I didn't seem to like that one for some reason. Uh, I'll try copying it again. That may work, and um, So, as it as it says here, it's just like a domain, so it it takes several hours to populate. It. So if you just say always accept and then say set to yes. So all your mail is now um running through Google and um, mail. And let me just show you how to log in. You go to google.com forward slash apps forward slash your domain name. Maybe it's because I haven't um, verified my go into domain settings. That is where you'd find it. But it didn't work for me because. Um, my domain's not working yet. But yeah, that, and you can go to inbox here. And as you see, I have a fully functioning Gmail account and it has at tom com. So if I just quickly log in with my uh, details, and it logs me into the bog standard Gmail. Um, but uh, as you notice, it's using my domain. So that was using Google Apps to um, make uh, make your email use your own domain name, and uh, it's a great service. Now, be aware that because you've changed those MX records, it it won't actually uh, function correctly. 
until those have come, gone through. Um, so thanks for watching this video, guys.